Piano teachers, how to practice finger dexterity and speed with your piano beginners. Let's say that you already have learned the C major scale. So now, instead of focusing on the different finger turns and the different fingers that they're going to use while playing at the same time, we're going to play sixteenths, four keys on the same for each step of the scale with the same fingers. I'm not going to use the fifth finger for this exercise, it's the weakest. So let's focus on those four fingers and we need four keys so, so that rhythmically we can create this exercise. What this does using the same fingers is that it makes it easier for the brain not to focus on the fingers because it's the same. They will only need one or two repetitions for this movement so that it's ingrained and then they can do it on autopilot and then having the rest of the brain focus on the speed and speeding up little by little i will show it in a minute what another important aspect of this exercise is that we are also practicing our rounded hands because we are gathering those fingers closely because we're going to have to press the same key but our fingers have quite a different, how to say, anatomy, different heights, different muscle strength. So we're bringing them together closely so that also we don't have to do these extra movements that are going to tire up our hands and they're not practical at all. And actually they're destroying the rounded hand, right? Don't let your students do this. Gather it together as if throwing salt in the water and all the time the same fingers almost from the same height and position and speed up little by little because this is easy for the brain to remember. Again, finishing off with just one key to give the sense of ending with the same fingers. I prefer the index fingers, is the most common finger and the first finger babies use when they want to show something. And then the same thing going down. They can speed up like that or immediately start fast. This is actually quite a good speed even for a piano beginner. Again, pay attention for them not to do separate movements, not four different orders. Same order from different angles. We're pressing the key from different angles. Have a good practice.